Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia, Vival, 33 Tarot, and with Spirit. We're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, all right? Um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $33.33. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, this might be someone from the past trying to come back and reconnect and communicate with you in some way, shape, or form. If not, they just have so much fun with you. It's so nostalgic and beautiful. They're trying to figure out what to even do. How can they even approach or, if, you know, or like their emotions are up and down about like, whoa, past energy and, and chemistry and so much has gone on. And it could be an old friend for some of you here. And they're like, whoa, you know what I mean? Yeah, it makes them feel a little bit defeated and at a loss. Like, how can they even bother? Like, it's kind of like, how can they approach you? Or if they do, it's kind of like, do you even care? Like, is there even anything you feel for them on the other side? Kind of an energy here. Okay, so they're really being clear. They get a little cold and reserved, but it's more so because, like, they obviously do care for you. And so it looks like here that they're actually willing to maybe uh, talk to you. Um, they're, they're, my, they're thinking about a lot of this, you know what I mean, with the two of you and what's going on. Okay, yeah. So, okay, it actually looks like here that they could have, you know, an addictive personality, be addicted to you and infatuated. Or I think also they became aware that they could have been being a bit toxic with their own personal stuff in their life. And so you being in contact with them helped them kind of realize like, oh, okay, there's some things going on here. Um, there's some toxicities but they're working on it okay yeah because either they they they're yeah i'm gonna say they're infatuated or something here there's something going on of a toxicity uh, something about a relationship if they're not one with you maybe they're one with another person but they definitely have they're here for you in some way shape or form or they want to be in a relationship with you or it's this energy of they um maybe it's a friend they want things they want more with you possibly so they had to kind of take a break and relax and really think these things through and get some rest and recover and sleep here, okay, about how they feel and what's going on between the two of you. Yeah, because they definitely do have emotions with you and towards you. They're emotionally committed to you. Maybe they have been after all this time. I don't know. And they're definitely someone who's very successful. That's for damn sure, okay? Their success and recognition, they just want to be recognized by you with the amount of emotions that they have for you and they want to tell you this very beautiful i don't know but um that's what i have for you for today here um you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio um a gemini libra aquarius or a virgo taurus or a capricorn okay thank you bye